Hey everyone, using demo and tools to learn CISSP. I'm Chen Zhang, Microsoft Azure MVP, AWS Certificate Solution Professional. Uh, today I will uh, show you something different. Maybe this topic uh, is not direct uh, related with the uh, CISSP. Uh, actually, if uh, we are in the CISSP domain uh, for and everything about the Cisco. So I think uh, this is close to the uh, Cisco. And uh, uh, you should know that uh, in the Cisco, there have some uh, very famous and uh, uh, great uh, simulator, just like the uh, Botham, uh, the uh, Pack Trader, uh, and the uh, Gen3. Uh, just like me, uh, in the uh, Cisco classroom, uh, uh, we can touch the uh, real machine, the real router or the real switch. Uh, but once we uh, go back home, sometimes we want to do some practice. Uh, we have to rely on the uh, simulator. Uh, the basic function uh, can be uh, implemented uh, by the uh, pack tracer, it's so good. But if you want to do some uh, advanced uh, high uh, level uh, commander, uh, it can only uh, be finished by the uh, real machine. And actually I think the GS3 is not the simulator because it can run in the real uh, Cisco room, the real uh, iOS, yeah, iOS file, high spin file, yeah. So, uh, I had uh, spent some time uh, doing some research because the GN3 uh, is not a, a traditional uh, software. It's uh, running the uh, real uh, room, just like the real machine. So a lot of uh, tricky. And uh, it always costs you the uh, high resource if you want to run it uh, on your uh, no matter laptop or your a physical uh, server machine. And I prefer use the uh, Azure because you know, I'm Microsoft specialist and I have uh, been with the Azure for about the uh, 10 years. So a uh, pre priority to uh, I installed the uh, Azure uh, and the uh, uh, GNS machine. Uh, I checked the, uh, some videos from YouTube. Uh, that's so good. Some videos show me how to uh, Install uh, the GNS3 on Azure. Uh, but you can see all these videos uh, were about uh, one year before, which means uh, it kind of uh, out of date. Because also, I want to stress that uh, different people have different uh, requirements. Just like if you just want to run uh, a switch uh, inside the GNS3. Uh, it's okay, you can use the VPCS, the, the simulator PC, uh, that's okay. But if you want to do something uh, with the advanced uh, function, if your uh, network diagram is complex, so maybe you need to uh, deep dive and uh, I can show you uh, my usage, okay. So uh, today, uh, in this video, I will show you uh, the following uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, the six points. Okay, first, uh, that's the uh, common knowledge. Uh, I can still remember uh, maybe uh, five or six years before, it's impossible, you know, to nest the uh, Hyper-V inside the uh, Azure platform because uh, Azure uh, based Azure uh, all the VMs uh, inside Azure based on the Hyper-V. So if you can uh, run in Hyper-V on uh, Azure means uh, it's nested. Now Microsoft formally uh, supports uh, we can install the uh, Hyper-V on the uh, Azure and uh, but it's only the Azure E-Series VM support, uh, E-Series, e I can show you my VM. E-Series uh, is very powerful, not cheap, but it's still okay. With the 4V CPU, uh, 32 gigabyte memory, E4S V3. Uh, okay, 
that's the first point. And uh, uh, once you set up your uh, E-series VM, then you can uh, enable your Hyper-V uh, function just the normal way. Then enable it, you create your virtual machine. Then you will find your virtual machine cannot access internet. What it means? Let me uh, start with our uh, demo. Okay. Uh, first, we should know once we create the uh, virtual, virtual machine from the Azure and we need to set our uh, network, uh, just a virtual network. That's the uh, network concept, uh, internal network from the Azure, just like my uh, VM here, uh, the virtual network, it's default. You see, it will give us this network address. And I uh, still remember about five years before the default address space from the 10.0.0.4, but now changed to 10.0.7.0. Yeah, it's changing. It used to be just like this. Yeah. If you have uh, five or six years uh, Azure experience, I think you can agree with me, right? Uh, but it, it's still okay. It will give us the, this address. And uh, in my uh, Azure, I got uh, three VMs use this network. So this is the VM1, this is the VM2, this is VM3, another, I can show you other VM, but it's not just the, these three VMs, but only the first one is running, okay? And then let's uh, move to our uh, Azure uh, Hyper-V. And uh, uh, first, uh, we will see the uh, virtual switch. Yeah. Uh, once you uh, installed, it will just have this one. We can see it's the uh, the first Microsoft Hyper-V uh, network adapt virtual switch is external. OK, you see, oh, now we got the external network. So by our uh, normal logic, uh, it should we can create a virtual machine inside the Azure and the config with the external network, right? Let's see. Uh, if we did not uh, assign the uh, static IP address, okay, first uh, we can see there's no DHCP. Okay, it's still okay. We can manually add our IP address. We can see we have already used the uh, three. So I think we can start from the eight. Let me double check it. Yeah, we can start with the 10.0.7.7. Okay, dot seven. Okay, and uh, dot seven, dot seven, and uh, two five five two five five two five five zero. Gateway will be just we can refer the our host uh, gateway, which will be the dot seven dot one, and uh, we can uh, actually uh, align the. DNS as our host. Okay, so sixty-three. Okay. Uh, by our previous knowledge, it should be work. We can take a look. Can we ping to our host first? Okay. Host address. We got it. So next step, can we ping to our gateway? It seems not work, right? So our process uh, is correct, but why it not can ping to gateway? Because it's blocked by Azure and I found the explanation. Uh, we can check this uh, Microsoft official guide. We can see, uh, 
which is the previous page. Nested VMs cannot access resource on premise or within an Azure virtual network, you see. So the only way uh, to access the outside network or internet is uh, set the nested VM through uh, net. So we have to set our uh, net network. Okay, let's try to set our net. Let's back to our virtual switch. But there is no net type, just only external, internal, and the private, right? So it's very tricky. Uh, also, we can refer this guide. Set up a now net network. Create a network. We have to use uh, PowerShell. Uh, the first is to create uh, an internal uh, virtual switch. Uh, this step we can be uh, accomplished by our uh, GUI GUI. Uh, but uh, we will also configure the new net net. This only can be done by PowerShell. So I highly suggest that, uh, you can follow this all these steps to create it. And uh, from the net, you need to point to your uh, you need to uh, point to your to your uh, gateway. See, you need to point to your uh, net gateway. Also, the net gateway will be your uh, uh, gateway for your host machine. So I have already created myself. Uh, is this one net switch? You can see from the GUI it shows the internal network, but actually it's the uh, net network. We can use the uh, PowerShell to show get switch. Uh, it's the net switch. Now we connect to our VM. Uh, we can config the IP address, not to use this one. We can give it the 1.2 and the gateway and the config the DNS. Okay, let's take a look. Sorry, I have to switch to the network card to this one. Once more. Okay, there you go. Now we can ping to Google, means our VM can access to the internet. Okay, so that's the uh, first two steps to configure our Hyper-V. Let me pause our video recording.